Today we're going to take a look at the 10-inch Uni Servo free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly for 3,500 pound axles. This is a right-hand passenger side assembly and as you notice it has a nice dacromat finish to it. Now this hydraulic drum brake assembly is a Uni Servo free backing design which is used on trailers with surge type brake actuators with no reverse lockout. The Uni Servo design you can see right here, it's a single plunger design. The free backing design, this is the the free backing, you can always tell by the shoe that has sort of a D shape to it. This design will let you back up without engaging your trailer brake, even if the actuator is activated. Basically, this shoe, it's a fall away shoe, provides full braking when your trailer is moving forward, but supplies only limited friction when the trailer is in reverse. The other nice thing is the Dacromet coating over the whole wheel, or over the whole brake assembly. It is used in marine applications because that coating provides superior corrosion resistance for freshwater or saltwater use. Now the size on this is 10 inch by 2 and a quarter inch passenger side electric brake assembly. And when they say 10 inch by 2 and a quarter, what that measurement is, 10 inches would be from here to here, so straight across the diameter, and the 2 and a quarter would be the width of the pad on the brake shoe. So if we take a ruler and go edge to edge, you can see 10 inches. And then if we go the width of the pad, right at two and a quarter, so ten by two and a quarter. And I did mention this is the right-hand passenger side. And a good way to tell what side this or what's what side this assembly goes on. On a new on a new wheel uh, brake assembly, it'll always have a uh, tag that'll say right hand or left hand. That's the best way. But if by chance there wasn't a tag on here, the quick way to look at it to tell what side it goes on is look at the size of the shoe, the pad on the brake shoe. If you see this one, it goes from here to here. And if you look at this shoe, it goes all the way from here to here. This is a longer pad. This is a shorter pad. The shorter pad is the primary shoe, and that will always face the front of the trailer. So with, with that known, you can see that this is the passenger side or right-hand side for the trailer. <clears throat> now these brake shoes are lined with an automotive-grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded. It's not riveted to the shoes. It gives a lot longer life, more braking torque. The, line, the pad that's on here has a nice tapered edge on each end. Some brake assemblies, they just cut it off and there's a sharp edge. They actually taper it on both ends. And then they do a circular grinding on the pad to prevent cracking and crumbling that can lead to mechanical lockup. This is a manual adjustment brake, so it does require periodic manually adjusting of it. The adjustment gear right here, this, uh, this is where you would adjust your brakes. This one's nice because it has a fine tooth brake adjustment gear and because of that it allows for a more precise adjustment. There is no break-in period needed following your initial adjustment. <clears throat> if you notice on the very bottom of the brake assembly, there's two adjuster plugs already in there. Those are nice because you can pop those out, put your tool in there to do your adjustment. But you, you do want to have adjuster plugs in there because if those holes are left open, then you're going to get dirt get in there and you don't want that in your braking system. Some brake assemblies you buy do not put plugs in there, so this is a nice feature because they do put the plugs in there for you. If you notice, the backing plate has the nice Dacromet coating on it. The, as you can see, it is designed to fit a four-bolt brake mounting flange. Now the mounting bolts are all installed in it. It does require nuts and lock washers to install onto your brake mounting flange. We do sell those separately on our website. Now this assembly is certified by USSAE standards and CSA standards, which are the Canadian standards. And again, the dimensions on it is 10 inches by two and a quarter inches. It is designed for 3,500 pound axles, and it is required to, or you can use the 10 inch brake drums with this. But that should do it for the review of the 10 inch Uni Servo free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly for 3,500 pound axles. This is the right-hand passenger side with the Dacromat finish.